Hello everyone. This is Boych. Today is the second lesson on tune engineering. Now, let's get started studying manga. Did you arrange your desk properly? Your chair and posture. Arrange your drawing tools and instruments on both sides of your workspace, right and left. Hold your pen gently in your hand. As naturally and relaxed as possible. Oh, I forget to remove my wrist support. I feel like I'm getting old these days. Grip your pen naturally. Because you need to draw mango with your pen. Just naturally, relaxed and light as possible. Don't squeeze your pen too much. I forget to mention this last time. I recommend you to hold the pen a little higher. If you hold the pen too low, you will end up putting a lot of force and strain on your arm when drawing long lines. Actually, regardless of your posture, you can become a mangaka and do your work well. However, I'm emphasizing the importance of sitting posture because, I hope you can become a mangaka who can handle as many manga manuscripts as possible. Your opportunities of becoming a weekly serialized mangaka in the new world of manga heavily rely on your productivity and work ethic. It is a very important key point in the new manga market. Because meeting weekly serialization deadlines requires a significant amount of time and effort. It ultimately puts a lot of strain on your body, especially your wrist, arm, shoulder, waist, and lower back. You need to be careful. To minimize the risk, having a proper sitting posture and gripping the pen properly are both very important. That's why I'm emphasizing it once again. Straighten your posture while sitting. The posture you are in right now is likely to be the one you will spend most of the time of your life in. Especially when you study and work in your workspace to create manga. Now let's study today's topic. What do you think mangakas draw the most throughout their lifetime? If a mangaka draws something the most while creating their manga, it must be the most important thing in the manga, don't you think? What could it be? Any guesses? I'm sure that you already know the answer. That's the eyes. The eyes. This is the eye. The eyes are what mangakas draw the most. Of course, it could also be argued that the most frequently drawn element in manga is character faces or people. But out of those, the element that is most frequently drawn is undoubtedly the eyes. Eyes are the most frequently drawn and essential feature of a character in a manga. They convey the personality and characteristics of the character. So, it's beneficial for a mangaka to have the ability to draw eyes well. Since the eyes are a major storytelling object in the manga, they need to be accurately portrayed in every moment of the story to effectively convey the character's emotions and thoughts to readers. That's how important eyes are in manga. It's possible to create an entire chapter just by drawing eyes. Of course, it's not always a recommended storytelling technique, but it is possible. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. Sometimes, it's possible to create a manga by drawing a few pages that solely feature eyes, without compromising the overall quality of the work. That's how powerful, effective, and essential eyes are. Shall we start drawing eyes? Do you think drawing eyes is difficult? Yes, drawing eyes can be difficult. Drawing eyes is just as important as it is challenging. It is an incredibly complex and challenging task. But what we are doing right now is creating manga. In the world of creating manga, there are endless ways to express the eyes. That is why in the world of manga, it is possible to create eyes that are both easy to draw and highly effective. Now, let's start by drawing simple and effective eyes. The simplest eyes in the manga. What could it be? Let's draw a face. Here is just a squiggly circle. This is a face. Let's just call it a face or a head. It's okay to draw it with a more squiggly circle. Shall we try drawing the simplest eyes? That's two dots. Is it too easy for you? I like it already.
these kind of dots are possible as characters' eyes in the manga. Let me change my brush size a bit and draw dots in various shapes. This is a simple eye shape we often see in modern manga titles. These are also dots. Isn't it great that such pretty manga eyes can be drawn so easily? Amazing, right? To normal dots. Or like this. How about this one? This is more than just enough. You can also draw dots in various shapes. You can live your entire life drawing manga with just these dot eyes. Believe it or not, you can work as a professional mangaka just by drawing these dot eyes. The world of creating manga is incredibly diverse. Isn't it great? Well, if you think drawing dots is too simple and easy for you. If you want to try something a little different manga style then. Even then, these dot eyes can be incredibly useful. This is what makes the dot eyes amazing. The dot eyes are highly versatile and can be used in a wide range of situations. Let's say you want to draw a more realistic manga face. Draw a realistic nose and mouth. And the overall the image and proportions are realistic. Does that mean we have to draw the character's eyes to look lifelike as well? See that? Not necessarily. Dot eyes can also fit well in realistic drawing styles. There's no problem with that. See? It's already a nice and good-looking handsome fellow. Dot eyes can make good characters. It is better than good. How about this one? Wow! Looks like a cheesy guy but I like it. I like this one too. Why dot eyes are? Dot eyes that fit anywhere. Let's draw a dot eyes character one more. This is so good. Can you tell me why these dot eyes are so great? Put two dots in her face. Nice. They seem to fit well with the latest trends in manga these days and it's just so good. I really like it. So happy. How about drawing eyebrows for her? Nice. But what makes it look so good? These simple dots. After all, these are just dots. And anyone can draw them. Anyone can draw squiggly circles and dots, right? Why is it that even with just two dots, we can create a great character that fits well in both cartoony and realistic manga styles? That's because of an important principle in the world of manga. Because the simplicity. Simplicity is the key to comprehensibility. The simpler it is, the more it can be used and applied anywhere. And what's even more important is that simplicity can hold a lot of meaning within it. Said. Happy. Intelligent. Bored. Kind. Angry. These dot eyes can be filled with any meaning or symbolism. Precisely because they are so simple, enabling them to hold the most. This is so cool. Even with this simple art style, you can bring manga to life and create it as a mangaka. However, you may ask yourself. I want to draw something with more detail and realistic art in my manga. I want to add many pen strokes to my characters and backgrounds. Yes, I also enjoy drawing detailed and realistic art in my manga. So, does that mean we don't need dot eyes for realistic drawings? Not necessarily. Even in realistic drawings, 
Dot eyes can be used to convey emotions or add a unique style to the character design. This is because it offers more expressive possibilities. Here, I would like to show you my work, Sun Ken Rock. If you draw and serialize a manga using this type of realistic art style, would dot eyes still be necessary? No, even in this type of sign-in manga, dot eyes are still very useful. Because the expression techniques in manga are very rich and complex. Can you see Senku from Dr. Stone? I use dot eyes a lot in Dr. Stone. It's incredibly useful. It's so fantastic. As you can see, dot eyes are used and expressed in many different situations in manga. Let's take a look at my work, Sen Ken Rock for a moment. Most of the characters appearing in this type of manga have realistically drawn eyes. But, even in a realistic manga style, we can use dot eyes in funny moments, can't we? The use of dot eyes can be versatile and applicable in many situations. And the great thing is that anyone can draw with it. It's so easy to draw. It's really awesome. However, despite dot eyes being so easy to draw, learn, and use. Even if you had to make a living by only drawing manga with dot eyes. Never misunderstand that drawing dot eyes is so easy. I don't have to study it, because I'm drawing simple cartoony manga. You should never think like this. Furthermore, you must not make the readers misunderstand in that way. If you become a mangaka and only draw manga with dot eyes, you must become a master of dot eyes. You should strive to become the one who can draw dot eyes better than anyone else. And you should be the best. Is there another level to drawing dot eyes? It's just putting two dots on a circle. Yes, there is a level of difference. Even simple drawings have levels to them, and that's the subtle aspect of manga. Even though anyone can easily do it. To utilize these simple dot eyes for drawing manga, getting paid per page, and creating merchandise. And to touch people's hearts by creating characters with dot eyes. You should deeply engrave it in your heart and artistic soul. There is an incredibly profound world of drawing dot eyes. There are masters of the drawing dot eyes. There is a level of difference in the dot eyes. Drawing dot eyes are a wonderfully creative world in itself. It's simple and comprehensive, yet there exists a high level of mastery to it. Just as there are great masterpieces and poor works of manga, there are also good and bad dot eyes. There are randomly dotted dot eyes, and there are also dot eyes that are drawn with exquisite precision and sensitivity after rigorous training. This is the dot eyes in manga. It's a simple yet profound world of creativity. Alright, today we learned about drawing dot eyes. In the next lesson, I will introduce you to more types of eyes for manga drawing. Thank you for watching. Happy manga drawing, everyone.